Last year they didn't blow over like this. And it was... Benny Wynn grows blackberries, lots of blackberries, on his farm in Muhlenberg County. Since he retired from the Ford Motor Company plant in Louisville a few years ago, he has gone all in on blackberries. He says he has been growing them for about 11 years now and last year harvested about 120 gallons, which his purple fingers can attest. And what he doesn't sell on the farm, the berries go to the Muhlenberg County Farmer's Market for $5 a quart. He says consumers are more discerning these days and want to know about the berries he is growing. You know, they may ask what kind they are, what variety they are. They may ask if you put pesticides or anything on them or, you know, some people may ask, how can I get started? And you can't, I'm going to tell them, you can't just set them out in the fence row and they won't work. They may, you may get them for a year or two and then they're going to die if you don't take a little care of them. Benny's berries will be featured at the Farm to Fork Market Dinner on August the 11th as the dessert in Blackberry Cobbler. Just down the road from Benny at Wynn Farms is his cousin John Wynn. And then I had to go to the farmer's market the next morning in the hayfield after that. It so probably would be easier to list the things that John that doesn't grow on his farm than what he does because that's about everything. He has mums in pots that will be ready for the fall. Uh, it's usually in January when they start. He gets his tomatoes started early in the year in this high tunnel greenhouse. He also has peppers, cucumbers, cantaloupe, watermelon, and pumpkins. If that isn't enough for starters, he has chickens and sells farm fresh eggs. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on and has goats and beef cattle. Come on! Wynn is one of the main movers and shakers at the Muhlenberg County Farmers Market where he sells his products. He hopes the farm to fork dinner will serve as an educational event. Uh, we're just trying to promote uh, local produce and uh, to, to tell people what we've got to go through to be able to sell at that market, you know. Uh, it's a whole lot different than selling at the flea market and whatever else. We've got a little bit more guidelines to go by. And uh, it just makes people aware that, you know, local food is you know, a lot fresher, a lot more nutritious, and a lot better for you. The Muhlenberg Farmer's Market is open three days a week and averages about 15 vendors a year. Last year, their gross revenue was about 35000 and it's expected to be even more this year. This permanent facility for the farmer's market is located next to the Muhlenberg County Cooperative Extension Service, where agriculture extension agent Daryl Simpson works. Needless to say, Simpson is one of the people behind the farm to fork movement in Muhlenberg County and the market dinner on August the 11th. Anyone that's interested in, in, in attending will say you know, 25 bucks for a meal is, is not that bad. I mean, I understand that that's, you know, that, that's a, a decent price, but at the same time, I think when they realize they're getting everything locally produced, literally locally produced, you know, within roughly um, 10 to 15 miles of where it's going to be served, uh, I think they're going to really enjoy the meal. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.